RHR Products is proud to present Pump Tracks, the ultimate portable well pump pooler. And with only four bolts, every machine can swap between a gas engine or an electric motor. Pump Tracks can lift and grip 675 pounds. One to two inch pipe, PVC, steel, does not matter. In this short video, you will see how Pump Tracks operates how you set it up out in the field, and how this machine will dramatically improve your next pump call. And please watch our upcoming tutorial videos. Each video will go into detail on how to operate your pump tracks machine. Every pump tracks machine has the ability to be set up in two different ways. The first way mounts directly on top of the casing, internal clamps stabilize the machine and can adjust for 3 to 10 inch size casing applications. The second way to set up the machine is to utilize the optional spider legs. These suspend the unit above the casing and is typically used for well seals and small casing applications. Let's take a look on setting up pump tracks directly on top of the casing. First start by loosening the casing clamp nuts, unwind the hydraulic hose, and lift the top portion and set it up on top of the casing. Because the machine clamps from the inside of the casing, you can rotate the tracks 360 degrees in any direction before you tighten the casing clamps. Next, plug in your flush face hydraulic connections. There are three hydraulic lines. You can't connect them incorrectly because they are male and female opposites. And if you're worried about hydraulic oil around the well, no need, because Pump Tracks only uses environmentally safe, food grade hydraulic fluid. Now let's take a look at the spider leg setup. With the machine upright, snap in the legs one by one. You will notice that the optional LED embedded casing clamps are illuminated. They are not needed when using the spider legs, but do help illuminate the well. These are the same casing clamps used on the previous directly on casing setup. Once you have tightened the legs, lift the top portion and set it up on the ground. Swing the legs around so its weight is evenly spread and each of the tracks wheels can slide off for easier mobility and for tight space storage applications. Because the tracks wheel weight is off of the rails, we can easily finesse the unit and incrementally adjust the height because of its wedge clamp design. So say goodbye to stacking wood or bricks to get that perfect height. For demonstration purposes of pump tracks' available torque, we leave the well pressurized and don't use anything to help dislodge the pitless. Take notice of the released pressure lock shooting water up and out of the casing. You can pull pipe automatically without having to keep your foot on the controls. However, it will stop when the pressure is increased. This is a safety feature of the automatic feed. Simply re-engage the foot pedal and you're back to pulling pipe. Here is an example of a slower pulling speed automatically being fed. And here is full speed being automatically fed. And this is 58 feet per minute, the machine's max speed.
In this slow motion video, you will see how pump tracks can adjust while maintaining its gripping pressure. Take a look at the pre-charged air shock, which pushes the red bumper out from compression. This is what allows the tracks to open and pass torque arresters, cable guards, and pumps. With a new pump plumbed and wired, we are ready to set it back to the bottom of the well. Here is where Pump Tracks really earns its money. Notice how Jim on the far right can speed change with his foot, and you can't even tell he is doing it. Here the engine is slowed down to idle to set the pitless, because the weight load is only about 20% of the machine's capacity. And here we can see the accurate speed control. Here we show one person controlling the speed and setting the pitless. Did iron leave a muddy mess? No problem. You can simply spray off the top portion with a water hose.